cigars are flying off the shelves at a Maryland chocolate shop that is dipping the insects in chocolate to make sweet and crunchy treats. My name is Sarah Dwyer and I now am famous because I ate a bug on TV and sell lots and lots of chocolate covered cicadas. Sarah Dwyer of Shukit Chocolates started coating cigars in chocolate and selling them when Brute 10 started singing in 2021. Now, her chocolate shop, which spends most of the year selling romantic and timely chocolates, has a five-day backlog for cigada orders. I've been a chocolatier for 10 years. If it did not work, I would not be selling them. But when you combine the chocolate, the cinnamon, and the nuttiness of the bugs, it really gives you that like holiday feeling when you're walking around a big city and they're roasting nuts on the sidewalk and you have that cinnamon smell. It's really what it tastes like. Dwyer and her employees gather the cicadas from trees behind their chocolate tree. The bugs are so numerous, they land right on the employees. Here's number five, six, seven, eight, I mean, they're just, honestly, we captured so many out here, and now there's just, like, it's like you can't even make a dent in them because there's trillions. So when they're butt to butt, that's when they need to get a room. So these two are probably talking now. The cigars are placed in a paper bag and put into the freezer. The cold temperatures put the animals to sleep before they die. Dwyer then boils the cicadas to clean them and crisps them in an air fryer. They already died, they were frozen. And then we just want to clean them really quickly, just like you would a fish or anything else that you wanted to eat from outside. And then we just bring them over here. You want to put them in the air fryer, so we put a little oil on them, but not much. And then we dust them with a little cinnamon. But once we put them in the air fryer, this one for probably about eight minutes at 400. I did have to figure all this out. Then when they come out, they'll be super crunchy and really delicious. Once the cicadas have been fried, Dwyer sprinkles them with either cinnamon or Old Bay and they are ready to be covered in chocolate. So this is a dark chocolate cicada and this has the cinnamon in it. And then this one is a milk chocolate cicada with cinnamon. And then these over here are milk chocolate with the Old Bay. So then I'm going to grab a bug, roll it in the chocolate. And then I did go to uh, pastry school in Paris to learn my dipping technique. I'm pretty sure no one thought I would be using it on cicadas. I mean, this is also how you would do uh, fresh truffles. And then you drop it in here, give it two rolls, then you pull it out. For Dwyer, the cicadas that are emerging in droves after 17 years underground aren't just a way to cash in on a bugging out craze. It's her chance to get more familiar with one type of protein she thinks will be a lot more popular if not needed by the next time these insects start to sing again. There's not enough protein to go around and I think, you know, I really do think that this will be something that in, in 2038 people will not think twice about eating a bug at all.